Hello Hard Video Audio Stuff, welcome back. After seeing part one of this video, a subscriber of this channel said, Some footage of skin tones would have made this a killer video. Just you sat in front of the camera would have been enough. Any chance? You know me, I read your comments. I thought that would be interesting, but if you haven't seen the first part of this video, it's definitely worth doing. I'll pop the link in the description below. From what I've seen from a few of your comments, it seems like a few of you see having good skin tones as being the be all, end all, most important thing seemingly over framing, composition, storyline, that kind of thing. I say good because, of course, skin tones are 100% subjective. Oh yes, this is a subject that gets people properly angry and Sony cameras are often criticised for not reproducing perfect skin tones. So with that in mind, let's see which gamut or colour space in the Sony Alpha cameras will give you the best skin tones. Of course there will be no best, but by all means let me know what you think and if you find this video helpful at all, if you could just take a second to share this video it would mean the world to me because the more the merrier. Now roll the clips. Starting off with movie and this looks pretty good although I think it has a slightly yellowy kind of tint to it and possibly a little saturated. Sony's still colour space actually looks quite a lot more natural and um, I have to say it looks really quite similar to how it did in real life. Sony's cinema mode actually looks even less saturated which is no bad thing. Sony's Pro Mode really looked quite good in the landscape test in part one of this video and skin tones look really quite good too. Now this is a surprise, I actually expected Rec. 709 to do much better here. This image looks way too saturated compared to how her skin tones actually look. Here's S Gamut and we're back with that kind of greeny tint and this is a colour space that's so big it really needs a lookup table to be at its best. So let's drop one on, and that's much more like it. The smaller colour spaces just don't work so well with these interesting looking LUTs. Here's S Gamut 3 Cine, which is actually my default colour space, and as you can see it deals with a lookup table really nicely. Here's S Gamut 3 Cine, and it definitely doesn't look as green as S Gamut, probably due to the clever processing of this colour space. And this one too takes a lookup table quite nicely. Hmm, not sure what I think about that, but definitely let me know what you think. Personally, I like really interesting looking footage that suits the scene and the mood over pinpoint accurate skin tones, as is often the way in cinema. But I do just want to stress again that it is subjective, and as long as you love the way your footage looks, then it's that's it. It's, it's perfect. I tend to use S Gamut 3 Cine because it's a proportionally scaled up version of Rec. 709 and I find it much easier to grave and it's still really flexible. So that's the one for me for now. But yeah, if, if you've got any tips for me, that'd be really good. Just another tip though, if you haven't yet got around to customizing the picture profiles in your Sony Alpha camera and you like using S Log 2 like I do, make sure you go in and change the default gamut because by default it's set to S gamut and as we've seen it's not that easy to grade. So I really hope that was helpful. Definitely let me know your thoughts and please take care.